Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson and you're watching Get Your Sax Together. I sax up your Sunday every week with free online saxophone lessons, bringing you great technique tips, player profiles and breakdowns of your favourite sax solos. Today we're going to learn another bona fide Hall of Fame classic and that's David Sanborn's soulful alto solo on How Sweet It Is To Be Loved By You by James Taylor. The Holland Doja Holland song, How Sweet It Is To Be Loved By You, was recorded by James Taylor in 1975 and was released on his Gorilla album. This solo is featured on my greatest pop sax solos of the 1970s video, linked above now. Alto saxophonist David Sanborn has been at the forefront of the music scene for well over 45 years now, and remarkably he was already 30 when he recorded this solo in 1975, the same year he recorded his debut solo album, Taking Off. Sanborn's distinctive crying alto can be heard on countless records and amongst other great artists he's recorded with Stevie Wonder, Eric Clapton, Paul Simon, Rolling Stones and Elton John. Jay Metcalf has recently done a video on his Better Sax channel covering some of the harmonic devices used in this solo so pop over there and check out that video if you haven't already seen it. If you like these Hall of Fame breakdown videos go to the card linked above now where you'll find a ton of other iconic sax solos and hit the link in the description to get your free PDF transcription for Solo Sanborn on How Sweet It Is, written for alto and tenor sax. You'll also find a link in the description for my free one hour saxophone success masterclass. I'm a really busy bee trying to bring you guys some great content each week. Plus there's kids at home through lockdown and the usual life in your face stuff to deal with. So I'm sticking with the all in one format I used for the respect breakdown video earlier this year. I know it's a bit more convenient to have each phrase broken down in slow motion first, but this way I can get the content out there consistently and keep bringing you breakdowns for more iconic solos without burning myself out. <laughs> it's also going to allow me to break down much longer solos like money and will you. So it's not all bad. You'll get the full solo played at real speed with fingerings and notes for alto and tenor. Then you use YouTube's playback speed feature to slow it down and pause it as you need to. Obviously, make sure you use the free PDF as well. In case you don't already know how to do it, here's how you slow down the playback on YouTube. If you're watching YouTube on your desktop computer, go to the settings cogwheel and then select playback speed. And then finally select the speed that you'd like to play it back. If you're on mobile, touch the screen, go to the three dots in the top right hand corner and then select playback speed and again select the speed that you'd like to practice at. So now you know how to slow things down, here's the solo at full speed. After I've played it, I'll let the backing track run for you to practice with, but don't forget to play along with the original recording more than anything else because the feel on this one is super distinctive and it can't really be notated. You've got to learn it from the original track. How sweet it is to be loved by you. So that's it for this week. Another Sex Stop Sunday in the bag. Hey, I always want to make content that's useful to you guys. So please click on the comments now and tell me what your single biggest challenge is playing sax. One caveat here though, if it's your tone in general or problems with low notes, high notes, squeaking, subtone, vibrato, growling, or consistency of sound, I've already got all that covered in my Total Tone Mastery course, which is linked in the description. So apart from all that sound production stuff, what's your next biggest challenge?
As always, thank you so much if you bought me a coffee using the link in the description. And until next week, practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. See you later.